So I've just been taking a look at Funda's retrieve. It's nice. She's good. She gets out. She sits. She stays. She's fairly steady when the dummy goes out. She has ran in a couple of times. But that's the easy solve. That's not, a, that's not an issue. Um, it's when she picks it up wrong. She grabs kind of this end of it. So if I get the dummy out, she grabs that end. Then she starts doing this with it and starts messing around with it. That's when she gets overexcited. And like I said, she's got a very low excitement threshold. So when she gets excited, her play drive goes up and her drive to bring it back to me goes down. So I've got to alter that around. So what I've done, I've kind of ignored when she's messing around. I've just got her to sit at a distance, lay down whatever she does, sit at a distance, drop the dummy, not allowed her to finish the retrieve. If I allow her to finish the retrieve, whether she's messed around with it, then brings it back, or I walk closer to her and she brings it back to me, if I allow her to finish that retrieve, that's what she then gets reinforced. So to make that particular behavior extinct or make it reduce, I need to not reinforce it, not teach her that it's okay to do that, then bring it back. So I need to stop her halfway through the retreat, get her sick, get her drop it, pick it up, bring it back to me, get her back on the heel, get her back, back with me, and then do it again. And that's what, what we've been doing for the last five minutes, six minutes, just kind of working through that. Because I want to have a look at it. You know, it's not my priority right now. Priority right now is just getting some nice patience from her. Getting the patience from her. That's my priority today. Just getting her to sit, wait, focus in on me. Not disengage from me. Just focus in on me. Just stay with me not mess around, not not think that she's free to just do what she wants. That's my priority today. But I want to have a look at the, the, the love retrieves as well because it's a bit of fun and I'll, I, I want to have a look at it so I know what I'm looking at because I was pre-warned that she did uh, in a class that the owner goes to picked up the dummy started running around with, with it so I was pre-warned on that so I needed to have a look at it and I've, I've I've seen it I've seen it now so but the idea is now is to break that down stop reinforcing that and start reinforcing when she does bring it back to me so yeah That's a definite reinforce. That's a great one. I love that. You definitely reinforce that one. Hey, hey, hey. Good girl. When she held it wrong there, what I won't do is reinforce it. So she gets no reward. She doesn't get penalized for it, but she gets no reward for it. Wait. Back. Good girl, bring it in. 
<coughs> and then that's one I reinforce. So you can see the principle. When she got it, she did it. The first two, brilliant, really spot on. Spot on, straight in, picked it up nicely, brought it back to me. Reinforce every single time. The one she got wrong, I won't reinforce because she got it wrong. Although she didn't mess around as much as what she was earlier, she still started to move around a little bit, getting a little bit excited. She readjusted, brought it back. If I reinforce that in any way, she'll think that's okay. And I don't want her to think that's okay. I want her to think that, that that's the wrong thing to do. So I withdraw the food, I give it her the opportunity to get it right again, and then I introduce the reinforcement if she gets it right at that point. It's, it's simple, it's easy, it's not detrimental. You can see her drive is still there. She's still straight back out again. So it's not detrimental. It is just a system to teach her what's good and what's bad. So I've just started to work her thunder off the long line. After a couple of hours of just getting to know her, looking at her, seeing what she does and what she doesn't do, seeing what the whistle works like, what the heel works like, seeing what the patience work is like. I've just got her off half the long line, sitting here with me patiently, which is nice. It's about progression, and I don't care what anybody says. In training, conduct training, whatever training you're doing, positive reinforcement comes first. You always start with positive reinforcement. Always. Your food, your game, your toy, whatever. Whatever you do comes first. Always. And that's what I've been doing. I've just been breaking it down, having a look. Yes, I've withdrawn a few treats here and there because of the fact that she didn't do it correctly but that's just to create the extinction of that behavior like the, the lock and retrieve where she wasn't retrieving properly she was picking it up and throwing it all around and chucking it up in the air and so i can't reinforce that in any way even if i just call her in and start again that's reinforcing it so i stop her halfway through bring her back start again she doesn't get to actually practice that she doesn't get to finish that activity and then I start reinforcing anybody who says don't use food in training is well there's no wrong we're not using food it's just I don't believe in it I believe that it should be used in the right way at the right time and it's as simple as that so we're coming to kind of like the end of the training sessions today. Um, I think she's done really well. She's absolutely shattered. I'm going to do about another half an hour, just kind of heel work off the lead, steadiness off the lead, uh, and then we're going to finish up for the day. But it's been a good day, a good start. But well, I know she already had good foundation. I just needed her to show me that foundation and to work for me because it's always owner and dog, owner and dog, owner and dog. So to work for somebody else, it's difficult for a dog to just instantly transfer what they've learned from their owner over to somebody else and instantly give you that, that social drive, that pack drive. It's not that easy sometimes. Some dogs will instantly. Other dogs, they take a little bit of while. They, they have to get to know you as well as you have to get to know them. So, but it's been a, it's, it's been a good, good start. So yeah, I'm happy.